So, you guys, you can see how images can really inspire you to go on these journeys. Um, so, is, have any of you ever like looked at a thing and imagined yourself, so maybe watch a circus and imagine yourself um, riding on the top of a lion's back? Or maybe looked at a painting and imagined yourself the, so riding a gondola along the waters of Venice, something like that, where you actually imagine yourself and you throw yourself into the painting and really imagine a story of yourself. So what we're going to do is now a fun activity where we're going to be choosing characters for a story that we're making ourselves. And this story is going to be based on images. So we're, first we need to choose the genre for this story. We know it's going to be fiction because really, in the real world, I don't think you see a cat dressed up like that. <laughs> Unless you've seen one striding down the streets, so that would be interesting. Please contact me about it. In any case, we're going to be learning um, about how to make stories and images. So, first of all, we're going to choose the genre. Science fiction, fantasy, or mystery. So, raise your hand for fantasy. Now raise your hand for science fiction. Yeah, I see a lot of boys raising their hands. Uh, now for, is this a conspiracy or something? Uh, now for mystery. Yeah, this is definitely a conspiracy, but that fits very well with mystery. So we're heading on for mystery. So, we are first going to choose characters. Who raises their hand for this guy? He's kind of fat, but still he looks interesting. Protagonist, antagonist. Okay. So, and before we get on further, we have to decide whether he's going to be an antagonist, a protagonist, or a supporting character. An antagonist and protagonist, in case some of you are thrown off by kind of fancy words, um, well, a protagonist is our main character. In many stories, protagonists have to go on this quest to find a magic sword, or maybe slay the evil tyrant, or learn something, like a they're an apprentice, or, or they have to rescue someone. Yeah. Whereas an, an antagonist is the opposing character. Like in cartoons, like the bad guy who's always trying to kill off the, who, the protagonist. Person. Or maybe Lord Voldemort and Harry Potter would be the antagonist. So, oh, in many, oh, in many stories, yeah. In many stories, the antagonist attempts to stop the protagonist from accomplishing a goal. So, now you get the antagonist, kind of the bad guy, the villain, and the protagonist is the main character. And then all the other people are going to be either supporting characters for the protagonist or opposing characters for the, um, who support the antagonist. So, do you think that this guy is going to be an antagonist, a protagonist, or a supporting character for either of them? So raise your hand for protagonist. Raise your hand for antagonist. Okay, yeah, I think that maybe he has an evil glint in his slanted eyes. And how could he have come by that gold except by plundering the caves of pirates? Okay, so, he's a diabolical tyrant of a feline universe. Who raises their hand for that? Okay. So, now, for this girl, the figures have stretched to help me. Okay, no. I should get into it. <laughs> so, uh, is, so, do we want this, um, raise, okay, so raise your hand if you want this to be a protagonist, an antagonist, oh, sorry, it can't be antagonist, we can only count that out. Okay, so raise your hand for protagonist. Um, raise your hand for supporting character for protagonist. I want her to be a supporting character. Um, and raise your hand for supporting character for antagonist. It would be very cool if she was a supporting character for an antagonist. Being little, she could be a spy, but yes, she's a supporting character for the protagonist. Okay, so we want to write these things down. Antagonist. We're going to be choosing four characters, if possible, by the way. Oops, I'm shunting these pictures back. Sorry for that. Pictures, <laughs> of 
Start writing, start writing, start writing, start writing, start writing, Thank you. 